I am up, I'm dressed, I'm doing laundry. Ugh, I hate doing laundry. Um, yeah, um, just uh, waiting now. Uh, the telephone interview is going to be in about 50 minutes time. So yeah, um, I've got the window open again because it's another nice day out there. Apparently it's about 70-ish. Um, it's got um, about a, a seven-ish mile an hour wind coming from the east northeasterly, So it's quite a chilly wind. Um, but yeah, I've noticed lots and lots of uh, the pink roses coming out and lots of the red ones too. The red ones are my tea rose. Um, that one, it's clutters a hybrid. So, I mean, I don't know. It just, it had red roses. And I said, I kind of, kind of got a thing for red. Um, I, I bought it and it was very small. It was, it was only like $4.99 and it's huge now. <laughs> it's, uh, it loved where I put it and it's just gone mental because I've just left it alone. I've, I know with rose bushes, they say you have to prune them and stuff. I just kind of left it. I left it, let it do whatever it wants. Um, the other rose bush, which is the pink one, that one I actually rescued from the garden over the way where uh, John and his family used to live. So, yeah, because the guy was just going to level the front garden and he was like, you know, take whatever you want kind of thing. So, yeah, I got a number of a number of plants from there. Uh, the biggest of my buddleias, um, three conifers. Uh, a rose bush, a fern. That was about it, I think. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the plants that are doing well in my garden, I actually bought myself. So, apart from a couple that John gave me, and then ones that he was worried that they were gonna. There was one, the um, the variegated holly. The council had come around and, and literally chopped that poor little bugger right down to the ground and he wasn't very happy about that. And he didn't want them to actually kill it the next time they did that, so he brought it to me. And it's doing rather well. But yeah, um, if I turn around this way, you see that? That is the rescued Buddleia. That's the one that's getting a bit top heavy. And I think I've got to actually <laughs> trim that. <laughs> I'll let it flower first because obviously the butterflies and the and the bees like it. So yeah, I'll, uh, once it's done flowering, I'll I'll bring it down to a more manageable level because <laughs> it went a bit nuts. Um, but yeah, it's just a case of puttering about and waiting for the phone call. Absolutely drives me nuts. Don't get me wrong, I like bikes, but I don't like them when they're that close to my flat and revving like crazy. Especially at all man, all times of the day and night. Poor little bee has gotten stuck in my flat. Come on, little bee, climb on the paper. Come on, then, darling. No, you don't want to get stuck there too. Come on. Come on, little darling. You want to go down? There you go. That's actually the second bee that I've had to rescue from that bottom part of the window. Um, I don't know if it's the same one, but yeah. Poor little things. They fly in my open window and then they don't realise that, uh, yeah, there's glass in the way and they have to kind of go above the white bit. So I have to go over with a piece of paper and go, oh, get on the paper, and out you go. Okay, so I've just had my um, telephone interview. Um, I was kind of nervous. Um, yeah, basically, they, you know, they just basically got a few more details off of me, um, asked me what it was that attracted me to the position. So I was honest. Um, you know, she asked me, was I working, um, you know, and I was like, no, no, and I said, look, I'll be completely honest with you, I haven't had a job for 10 years, 
because of health problems. I said, I've now been deemed fit for work. I said, and, and when she asked what was it that attracted me to the position, I said, well, the proximity to where I live. The first thing I said was is the fact that it was um, call handling, not a telesales type of thing. You know, the fact that I'd actually be helping people, which is something I like doing. Um, the proximity, uh, you know, to where I live and the actual, you know, annual pay. Um, apparently the actual start date for said positions, is, you know, for, the, for, for that particular job is 1st of August. Um, I've been invited to a face-to-face -face, um, interview. Uh, next week uh, they wanted to do it on my signing day so I asked you know like, what time would that be um, fortunately enough they had um, a appointment slot at six o'clock at night so that should work fairly well you know it'll give me a chance to go and sign on and and then come home and get changed I have to wear smart business dress Considering I don't have a blazer, I'm hoping that what I do wear is going to be good enough. Um, you know, I may I may Google it just to find out what's smart, just to see if some of you know some of what I've got actually works. Um, yeah, I'm 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 kind of I'm nervous and I'm excited and and yeah. I, I do really kind of wish that I could go and get my hair cut beforehand. Um, I honestly, I mean, t to be honest, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if, if I would be able to do that. Um, I mean, I may just, I may just straighten my hair for the day and worry about getting it cut before I actually start the job. Um... But yeah, uh, it's progress, I guess. Um, I applied for another job as well. Um, I'm now doing, finishing off the editing for yesterday's vlog. Um, and still doing laundry. <coughs> but yeah, um, that's the progress for that. I'm really... I don't, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, the, the other job that I applied for today... It's in Peterborough, but I don't know where in Peterborough. Okay, granted, it's more hours and it's for <clears throat> more money. Oh, yeah, seriously? Again? Ugh. Seriously? Yeah, it's 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 one thing to have a motorbike. When you're out, you know, you're out and about, you're out in town or whatever, or you... I mean, this is... The, oh. This guy does this. Stupid times of the day. Really does. And, it, and it's irritating. I mean, he's been known to do it at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. That's not very nice. <clears throat> anyway... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm trying not to pin all my hopes on the RSA job, but that one would be way better for me, you know, just because it's easy to get to. I know the area a little bit anyway, you know. It's, it, it's, it's, it's something that I really do feel that I can do, you know. I mean, I know that there's going to be like a. Um, it's like a six week training period which would start on the 1st of August and run through. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't like, I don't like to sort of say that I'm some whiz kid on the computers or anything like that, but, you know, I, I, I do find that, I do find that sometimes I can pick things up really fast. Um, perhaps faster than other people, I guess. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 a bunch of uncertainty. It's 
a bunch of excitement and yeah quite a lot of hope a lot of hope um, Okay, so, yeah, I've not really done a whole hell of a lot, you know, just kind of progressed through the washing up and, oh, yeah, been watching TV and, and looking up stuff and things like that. Uh, it turns out that I'm not in possession of a full outfit for the interview. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to hit up some charity shops to see if I can find um, a blazer. Because the only place that I've looked... Uh, I've, I've looked on two, two clothing places that I know of. One of them wants like £30 and the other one wants 20 So yeah, it's definitely going to be... I'm going to have to hit up every single charity shop in town when I go up there. Um, tomorrow I'm hoping to go to one that's um, not very far from here. Um, I think I can walk it. Uh, I think it's about... I think it must be about sort of similar, similar distance from here to there that it is to uh, the vet. So yeah it's just working out the working out the route you know get the most direct route <sighs> but anyway i am gonna leave things there for now because yeah there's not a whole hell of a lot else to report yeah it's just been a very unusual and very uh slow day so, yeah, I will catch everybody later. Bye.